Hey friends, welcome back to Automated Notion, the place where we put your notion to work for you. I'm Nikki Davidson and today's automation is a requested one. Today we'll be scheduling our social media content in Buffer, this time using Integromat. Now I've been using this automation for about a month now and I can't tell you enough how liberating it feels to plan my content in Notion and then flip a tag and know that Buffer has it from there. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect our trigger module with BNotion watch database items. So basically we're telling Integromat to watch our database for any updated items. So let's change this to by updated time and I'll attach my social planner and we have a limit of two uh, number of results during any one execution. I think that's two. I can't imagine that I'll be sending through any more um, than two Instagram posts at a time, but you do have the option of increasing this limit. Okay, so we also have a watch function over here. And here you can uh, set your schedule settings. You have an option of at regular intervals, just run it once every day, pick days of the week, specific days, etc. You also have the number of minutes between uh, cycles. So I have this set at 15 because I'm on a basic plan. I can go as low as five, but I believe 15 is the minimum for a free plan. Now you can see I also have some um, advanced scheduling options down here too. So I have this set up to run between 6 a.m. and 8 p.m. In theory, that's my work day. Um, hopefully I'm not scheduled content in the middle of the night. I can also set specific days of the week or months again. So this is really good if you want to conserve your operations. So on a free plan, you get 1,000 operations a month. On a basic plan like mine, you get 10,000. So if you're looking to conserve those operations, you might want to consider, you might want to consider spreading your intervals farther, farther apart or scheduling it for specific times during the day. Because every time your first module, your trigger module runs, that counts as an operation. So let's go ahead and just run this once. That way we can pull through our properties. Now we're ready to attach our buffer. Create status update. Now I've already connected my buffer. To add yours, you would go up here to add. Show event settings, and then you would paste in your buffer API key. Now for some instructions on how to get that, just click the online help link and then just follow the instructions. And they even include a video for you on how you can connect your buffer. Okay, so you do have an option of selecting all of your social platforms. So you can go ahead and send one post from Notion to all three of your platform, or rather all three of your profiles and buffer. But because I don't always schedule the same type of content to all three platforms, I'm only going to do this for Instagram. And then I would go and connect another one for Twitter and then another for Facebook. So our text is going to come from our caption property in Notion. And be sure to select plain text. So you get some options as far as when you want to publish your post. So either post immediately, or you can add it to the top or bottom of your queue, or post at a scheduled date and time. So let's select schedule date and time. And now schedule is going to come for, from our schedule property in Notion, and select start. So since this is an Instagram post, we have to include an actual image or video. So attach media to the update and then scroll down to link to an image. And this is gonna be our image link. And then do the same thing for thumbnail. Okay, 
So I can leave this as is, but then it will pull through all of my pulls. So I have to set up a filter. So just click on this little wrench in the middle, set up filter, and we'll call this ready to post. So our first filter would be that the status. That the status name is equal to ready to post. And then also we want to make sure that the channel, that the channel name is equal to Instagram. But what about after it's been scheduled? I want some sort of confirmation from Buffer that this was taken care of. So at the end here, I'm going to add another module for Notion. Update database item. So a database again is Social Planner. And we're going to get the database item ID from the first Notion module. And if you hover over this, you can actually see the Notion watch module start to pulse. So you know which module you're actually pulling information from. Okay. And make sure this is the database item ID. So we want our status to be changed to scheduled. And then I wanted to also return the buffer ID. So we're selecting status ID. So we have everything set here. Now off to Notion to test our first post. So I'm just going to flip this from in progress to ready to post. And let's run it. There you have it. It went through. All right. And you see that it has changed our status to scheduled. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there is a huge thunderstorm coming. So if you hear like a rumble, it's because of that. And we also have our buffer uh, ID. Okay. So we have set this up to schedule in Instagram. Now we have to think of a worst case scenario, so to speak. What if we forgot to include the text field or the, the date? One of the things that I have learned is that if you don't include the time, sometimes, not all the time, Buffer will schedule your post for 12 a.m. for whatever day you selected to schedule it. Other times I get error messages telling me that I forgot to include the time. When I do get error messages, I find that it's usually user error. It does happen. So what do we do in those scenarios? So let's go back and I'm going to drag this over back to ready to post. But this time I'm going to delete my caption. Now, when you tell Integral Matt, here is the data that I want you to pull through, it will assume that you want that there every single time. So if you told it to look for something and then it's not there, it assumes that that's an error and will completely stop. So we'll run this again. And as you can see, we got, a, we got an error telling us that we had a missing requirement of our caption. When you do receive an error, you will receive an email from Integromat alerting you that this occurred so that you can go in and fix it. But if you receive three errors in a row, it will completely shut down your scenario. And then your other posts that are perfectly fine, they will be held up because of these errors. So in this event, I actually want to apply an error handler and I'm choosing ignore. Basically, I'm going to tell Integromat, tell me that this didn't go through, that there's an error, but don't stop the entire scenario and hold up my other data. So let's run this again so that you can see what will happen.
Okay, so you see that the, there's now a thought bubble over the ignore. There's no data in here. It's just to tell you that, that this situation contained an error that was completely ignored. Now, don't worry, Integral Map will still let you know that this did not go the way that you thought it would. And you will actually receive warnings saying, hey, we've received um, multiple errors that were ignored. So you might want to take a look at what's going on here. All right, so this is set up great. We've handled our errors. We've gone through and scheduled everything. So now it's time to save. Make sure you save. And we can go ahead and turn this on and go onto Twitter. So in the interest of time, I already have my Twitter scenario all set up. Now you're going to see some differences here. First of all, we have a router. Basically what a router does is it allows you to split the data amongst module platforms or modules. So we have two scenarios with Twitter that we didn't have with Instagram. With Instagram, you have to have media, a photo or a video with your posts. With Twitter and Facebook, you can have a text only post. So we have to plan for both options. So just like with our Instagram scenario, we have our filters. We want to make sure that our status is ready to post and that our channel name is Twitter. But then we have some additional filters. Our first case is when our Twitter post has an image. So my condition is that the Im image URL exists. And then you'll just set up your buffer module the same way you did for Instagram, pulling in all the same information. And then below for our other case scenario is when we don't have an image, we want to say that the image link does not exist. Now for this case, we don't have attached media to update checked off and we don't have any of those image links. And then we also have our update the Notion database that this has been scheduled and now ignore modules. So in my automate.io buffer video, I said that if I made any type of changes, just like, you know, moving it around or accidentally changing the, the status, that it would create a double post. So what will happen if we try to recreate that and integral mat. So I have my two Twitter posts here. So let's move these back over to ready the post and then see if we can try to schedule these again. All right, so now we've received an error. Let's take a look at what this error set tells us. All right, so you can see here, it says, whoops, it looks like you've posted that one recently. Unfortunately, we are not able to post the same thing again so soon. Our Facebook automation will look exactly like our Twitter automation. The only difference is that we'll change our filter to our Facebook channel and select the Facebook profile. While I split up my platforms into different automations for better demonstrating, you can certainly put all of your profiles on one scenario. Now let's send our updates to Buffer. We'll start with our Wash Database Items module. Again, we're watching based on updated time. I have a filter here that I've labeled previously sent to Buffer. My first condition is that the buffer ID exists within the Notion database item. The second condition is that the status is set to scheduled. Then I have a router here for two cases, one where my post contains an image and the other where there's no image. So we have our buffer updated status update module. Say that three times fast. Within this module, we, we will be selecting our buffer ID so since this ID is specific to a certain post, we don't have to signify if this is Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Just like with the new status update module, we're just gonna fill in all the properties we want for our posts. We have our caption, schedule date and time, and then our image links. And that's that. 
I definitely feel that I have saved some time in my process by not having to leave out of Notion to go into a separate scheduling app because who wants to sit around copying and pasting? This automation has empowered me to basically build my own social media manager. If you're like me and you're tired of trying out every different social media scheduler out there only to have them miss a key element in your planning and scheduling process, then you'll want to stick around to this channel. I'm currently in the midst of planning an entire automated social series using Notion. So if you want to see more of these videos, please give me a like and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future automations. Until next time, happy building a Notion.